How much should you put down when you go to buy your next house? Hi everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group and the National Association, National Association of Realtors did a survey and they asked, how much do you believe you need to put down when it comes to buying a home? And shockingly and overwhelmingly, people said 20% or more on their next home or their next loan. And that is completely false. You absolutely don't need 20% down to buy your next house. You can get a loan for 3.5% down on FHA, 0% on VA. You can get conventional loans at 3%, 5%, 10%, and 20%. That's how much you need to put down on your next house. It can be as low as 0%. Now, here's the catch, or here's the pro. If you put 20% down on your next house, you don't have mortgage insurance. It's this fee that you get when you get a loan under 20% down and it covers the lender in case you default. So ideally, or to optimize your loan and your overall principal or your overall payment is you want 20% down, but you should go out and get into home ownership below 20% down. For a lot of people that own their homes and they're gonna sell their homes with a lot of equity, I'm hearing a lot of people wanting to put all cash down on a house and avoid a loan altogether. And I have a question for you, why? Is it because you're scared that you're gonna default? Is it that you're scared that you won't be able to make the payment? Because I can tell you this, anything above 20%, 30% down, 40% down, 50% down, is, there's no advantage. There's no lender advantage to putting down 50%. The only thing it does for you as a, a borrower is you have a lower payment. That's it. So if you can afford the payment, think about putting 20% down. You don't need to put 90% down, right? Now, if, you th or if you're thinking in the future on a fixed income, that's the payment I'm comfortable with long term, absolutely do it. But you don't have to do it. There's no benefit to doing that. In fact, money's so cheap at 3.5%, 3.5% right now for mortgages as we take, shoot this video, it might make sense to get a mortgage at 3.5% and then invest in other places that are more effective for you and your family.